One of the fears of using dating apps is that you could accidentally stumble upon someone with evil intentions and it is very easy to imagine how these could be exploited for such purposes. England, June 19 of 2014, police respond to a phone call made by Stephen Port. In this phone call, he describes a man having a seizure outside of his flat and requests immediate help. The collapsed man was Anthony Walgate. Sadly, he was pronounced dead of an overdose. The substance was a date rape drug, GHB, gamma hydroxybutyric acid. But this was just the beginning of a series of mysterious deaths embarking London. Between August of 2014 and September of 2015, the bodies of three men were found in the vicinity. Gabriel Cavery of 22 years of age, Daniel Withward aged 21, and Jack Taylor aged 25. Three of these four murder victims were found in the graveyard of a nearby church. These men had two things in common. Not only did they all have extremely high traces of GHB, they all used gay dating apps, but in particular the application called Grindr. Local police did an absolutely atrocious job at linking the deaths together. If it wasn't for this man, one of the murder victim's close friends, the nightmare could have continued. Oh, how a smile would break across his face. <laughs> he was able to link all of the deaths to a serial killer, not only because of the overdoses, but because the bodies were all found in the vicinity of one another. The friend compiled all this information and sent it to local police, but they completely disregarded it. Their excuse was that it was ruled a suicide now that a letter was found in the pocket of one of these victims. The issue was that the suicide letter was a fake planted by the serial killer to lure police away. Several months went by until finally everybody's fear turned into a reality. It so happens that Stephen Port, the individual who made the emergency phone call to report a man having a seizure, was the man responsible for the murders. Stefan was a 41-year-old former chef. He would meet young men through Grindr and invite them to drug-fueled orgies, orgies where he would heavily drug and rape his victims, a sickening act that became deadly when he began fantasizing about killing those young men. Stefan Porter was found guilty of drugging, raping, and sexually assaulting a total of 11 men. Four of these men he murdered, and they are the reason he is now serving life in prison. If police had only acted sooner, many of these deaths could have been prevented. As of now, there is an investigation that could link Porter to up to 58 GHB-related deaths. Below, in the description of this video, you will find a link to a short documentary. In this documentary, we follow one of the murder victim's best friends and his undying quest to catch the serial killer. I highly suggest you check it out. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel for more similar content. Add me on Facebook and Twitter with the tag GloomyHouse. There, I will be able to answer all of your questions.